thanks for joining me today. I'm reading an awesome book by Dallas Clayton. An awesome book. There are places in the world where people do not dream of rocket-powered unicorns and candy cane machines of magic watermelon boats and musical baboons or teeny tiny trumpet players training pet raccoons. Yes, there are places in the world where people dream up dreams so simply unfantastical and practical they seem to lose all possibility of thinking super things. Of dancing wild animals with diamond coated wings. Instead, they dream of furniture or buying a new hat. Of owning matching silverware. Could you imagine that? Instead, they lay awake at night wishing for a car, not one that runs on jelly beans, but one that's regular. They dream of breakfast sandwiches. They dream of telephones. Sometimes they even dream of dreams that aren't even their own. Yes, there are places in the world where dreams have left instead. So please, my child, do keep in mind before you go to bed to dream a dream as big as big could ever dream to be. Then dream a dream 10 times as big as that one dream you see. Then once you've got that dream in mind, please dream a million more and not a million quiet dreams, a million dreams that roar. A million dreams so loud they scream, so loud they sing and shout. So super huge, they say, hey world, guess what I'm dreaming about? I'm dreaming about everything that no one thought to wonder. Dreams so big that they've got dreams and they've got dreams up under. Because you're the one whose dreams can be whatever dreams you want. Whose dreams can change the way things are and the way that things are not. And if they say that all your dreams seem too big to come true, you tell them that I told you, that's what dreams are meant to do. They're meant to make you seem as if you don't know up from down. Because dreams are dreams, and that's why dreams are worth having around. So when you think your dreaming's done, just remember what I said. Close your eyes, my child, and dream that perfect dream inside your head. The end. Thanks for reading with me today.